All right, so hello everybody. It's about five o'clock.
Alright, so greetings everybody. Greetings. Today we'll be doing another meditation class. I'm just waiting to see if we have more people pop in and everything. Um, I am streaming this through Zoom, but I'm using my program OBS to host it and everything. So I'm just giving people a few minutes to drop in if everyone had the alert. Um, t on this past Tuesday, December first, we just had another or the first meditation class. Today we're having the second. This has been roughly about five minutes. It's 5:05. We'll be getting started. We're gonna start exactly the same way we did the other day on Tuesday. We start off with the breath practice. The reason why we start off with the breath is because the breath is what engages your yogic practice. Um, you hear terms like ujjayi or breathing and things like that, which necessarily just means you're activating your lungs, you're activating your respiratory cavities, you're activating your cardiovascular system to the highest possibility. Now, whenever you do the ujjayi breath, there is a sound that goes with it that lets you know that you are doing it proper. And another way people describe it is that you're like breathing like Darth Vader would, because you're activating that part of your nasal cavity that the air flows through. Whenever air flows through there, it kind of like it's a hollow space in your skull, so it creates a sound, and that sound is usually like a. Doing inhalations through the nose and exhalations through the mouth. Now, whenever you activate this uh, ujjayi breathing, you're gonna feel like a weird vibration, the dark radio sound happening along the inside of your skull, right behind the nose, because that's where your nasal cavity is located. It also affects your sinuses. So, if you're having like sinus issues or drainage, and you try doing this, it will actually push some of it down your throat, not like um, down the throat, but out of the mouth. So, like you'll be hogging up the, hogging up the mucus. Um, we're going into it. We're going to do four breaths at the belly. From these four breaths at the belly, we're going to move up to the four breaths at the rib cage, four breaths at the upper chest. At your pace, you're going to do your breathing. So if I finish before you or if I finish after you, don't worry about it. Remember, you're breathing at your own pace. What the pace is going to be like, it's going to be a deep breath in, hold, and then a slow release. Control of the breath is going to control the rest of your reality because your brain is going to process things based off of how much oxygen is in your system as well as how much time it has to evaluate between each breath. Um, so going into it, we're going to just jump right into the breathing practice. Hand on the belly. Take a deep breath in. Hold. And slowly release. At your pace, deep breath in, hold, and slowly release. Deep breath in, 
code slow the release final breath at the belly deep breath in hold and slow the release give yourself some time to feel how your body is actually breathing in mechanically I know it seems very remedial, but the idea of it is first you start at the breath before you go into motion. Because if you're not breathing properly, then your function is not going to occur properly. It's always form over function, and every form starts with a strong breath. So we finish at the belly. We're going up to the rib cage. Give yourself a gentle hug, hugging around your rib cage. You're going to feel them expand out like an accordion and contract back in with each breath in and each breath out. So at your own pace, clear your lungs. Deep breath in, slow the release, deep breath in, slow the release, one more time, deep breath in, slow the release, third breath in, Release. Deep breath in. Hold. Slow the release. Again, we got to the second portion of the breath. We are even. We've already entered the first chamber, which is 40% at the belly. Once you feel that contraction and expansion of the diaphragm, you know you're taking a deep breath all the way into the belly. It's going to cause your belly to press out as you breathe in. And it's going to cause your belly to press out as you breathe in and retract as you breathe out, bringing the navel close to your spine. With your ribs, again, it's going to cause your ribs to expand out as you breathe in and then retract in as you release. Now with the upper chest, it's going to cause the upper chest to gently rise up and fall down with each breath. We're going to do four breaths here. After these four breaths, we're going to go into a 12-breath cycle. And that's just to tune in and check into the body now that we've brought awareness to the breath. Again, most of the practice is going to start at the breath. And that's why I start and emphasize the breath so heavily. Because this is a part of the practice we can do at any point, any time throughout the day. We have to do this to remain consistent with our living. So at any point when you have time, which you will always have time taking a deep breath do so apply it for yourself so at the upper chest take a deep breath in slow the release deep breath in slow the release deep breath in slow the release Final breath in, hold, and slow the release. Place your hands either on your chest, sorry, either on your lap, on your knees, palms up, palms down, in your lap, palms together. I always do left hand holding right. Uh, that signifies from what training I've taken. Um, Compassion, power. Compassion always goes over power. So, at your pace, we're going to do 12 breaths. And with these 12 breaths, we're going to focus on a cycle of how our body is feeling. If you're starting to feel any tension from your breathing and everything, remember to try to focus the breath into that area. Guide it with your mind, because the mind is actually still what controls the body. So, through your mental function, Feel how your breath is moving in your body, and then guide the breath to where you feel like it needs to to help release. So, at your pace, we're doing 12 breaths. Clear your lungs. Starting the first breath now. I'll chime in for every four breaths. As you breathe in. Remember to focus on the filling of the lungs, the filling of the belly, the rising of the upper chest. 
as your body checks into these three areas, see and feel through your sense, your sense of touch, your sense of being, your awareness of yourself, where any tension or stress is being carried. We're getting on to the fourth breath. Hold and slowly release. Checking back into the body on the fifth breath. If you feel like your mind is starting to waver or detour a little bit, allow it to go on a little bit of the journey, then bring it back. The aimless and restless thoughts we share throughout our day are not bad. We just must acknowledge and continue on towards our actual goal. Remember to check in through the belly, to the ribs, to the upper chest. With each breath, feel for the cue signs, feel for the slight movement. Don't force the movement with your muscle, allow the movement to occur through your breath. Come on to our eighth breath. Deep breath in, hold, slowly release, checking into the body, feeling the air, feel into the belly, into the ribs, into the upper chest. If you begin to feel any extra sensations, note and label it, bring your awareness to that sensation, give it a note. Dictate how it feels in your body. Dictate what it's making you feel. Is there a color associated to it? Is there a temperature associated to it? If you can give it one of these four to five identifiers, you have brought your awareness to it. You have noted and labeled the sensation. Giving yourself some time, take a deep breath in. In this breath, feel how the air feels into your lungs. Feel how your body is filled with oxygen. Allow it to saturate into your lungs a little bit longer by holding the breath before you release. Check into your chest, see if you can feel your heart breathing from your increase of your breath. As you're taking full of breaths, check in and see if you can feel your pulse through your fingertips, through your joints through the veins running across your body. Within your next breath, check into your body, starting at the tailbone. We're going to work our way up the spine slowly. Starting at the tailbone, at the coccyx, at the sacral. We're going to acknowledge the root. As we acknowledge the root, allow memories, allow thoughts of your family, yourself, your upcoming, your upbringing, your goals, fill your mind, bring your awareness to that. For the moment, focus upon yourself. The reason, the reasons you are pursuing your education, the reasons you are doing this, allow that to soothe your mind for the moment. Bring your awareness to it, acknowledging, and then moving on up the spine a little bit more to the belly. As we enter the belly, we enter the sacral region, second zone. As we enter the second zone, a lot of things that bring you the most passion through creativity, through art, through inspiration, fill your body. If it may be your family, 
It may be your goals. It may be your upbringing. Allow it to inspire you. Allow it to fill this area of the belly up. And as it fills the area of the belly, remember to keep the belly soft. Keep an awareness to your body to bring a softness to it. A softness to your tone. A softness to your muscles. Within the next breath, allow that area of the sacral, the second chakra, to fill. And on your release, move on up. At this point, we're coming into checking the ego. The I am, I do, I exist. Within the first reason of your root, those things that tether you back into this world, those things that keep you sound within who you are, your family, your upbringing, your history, your past. Allow that to inspire and feel into you, go into your creativeness. From there, we're going to move up into the ego, into the third chakra, the solar plexus. So right now, we're moving ourselves on up. We're about right here, about where the diaphragm is at, the solar plexus area, right under the rib cage. Acknowledge that in which connects you to that in which you enjoy your personal hobbies, those physical things in which you seek out in this world to enjoy. Once you've acknowledged and embraced that, take a deep breath in, filling it up. And once that is filled, release and move yourself on up towards your heart. Returning to the second chakra, those passions, those inspirations, returning to the third chakra, those specific passions, those inspirations for you to say, I am, I do, I believe, I exist because. And remember to resonate this with the love from the heart. As we enter into the heart space, remember of the green color of health. The heart space, which color is associated with life and love, is also associated to the color green, which is a healthy color. As you take a deep breath, fill this area up with love energy, creating a space within yourself to love everything that you came from, to love that in which you are. Once you have filled the space, take a deep breath, releasing the energy to go up to the throat, to the communication center, your communication chakra. How do you connect with that around you, be it in a terrible language like English or in a body language? Or is it through eye contact? Allow yourself to feel your throat with the air with the feeling, with the communication that you've learned, that you brought yourself awareness through, from traveling through the root, into the sacral, into the ego, into the heart. And on the end breath, allow that area to feel, so forth, the, ex the exhale, the exit breath, it can pass on into the world around you. Take a deep breath in, feeling the throat one more time, feeling the communication chakra. And as you release, you rise up, coming into the midpoint of your brow, in between the eyebrows, in between the eyes, along your third eye, your intuitive self. Give yourself time to bring awareness to your intuition. Allow it to guide you and do not block it. Repeat it one more time. Give yourself time to give into your intuition. Allow yourself to flow with it and not block it. Our intuitive nature is the best nature in which we have. For each individual person, their intuition guides them uniquely different, but towards the things that they highly enjoy. So you take a deep breath in, allow your intuitive nature to crawl throughout your body, seeping down from the third eye into the root, and then returning back up. Take a deep breath in, filling each chakra from the root to the sacral, to the ego, to the heart, to the throat, to the third eye, filling them all up to come into the climax on your release. Reaching the top chakra, the crown chakra. Acknowledging your crown. 
acknowledge your higher self, your higher entity that connects you to the world around you, that allows you to be able to share between your chakras the feelings, the moods, the knowledge, the information that you gain from looking into yourself as well as connecting the two others. Give yourself time to fill the crown chakra up. What does your highest self communicate to you about? What does it tell you? Following your intuition is following the higher self. These two are correlated. As the intuition is for your physical being, the higher self is for your spiritual being. The essence which then guides and inspires the physical and mental. Going up the spine, we're at the top of the head. Bring awareness to the feeling between the top of the head, between the ears, going into the throat, into the rib cage, into the chest, down into the lower part of the rib cage, to the solar plexus, the diaphragm region, into the belly, down the belly into the sacral region, into the sacrum, into the coccyx, the tailbone. Take a deep breath and allow the air to flow down into the root and back up into the crown. As you find a fixed point within yourself to focus on, be it your root, your family, your creativeness, your inspiration, your ego, yourself, your heart, your love, your passions, your communicative ability, your communication, your intuition, or be it your higher self, checking in. If you feel there are any blockages, bring your awareness to them and ask yourself to identify the way around this blockage. Within yourself, take your time to discover. Discover how it feels to allow the air to freely move. Discover how it feels to allow the pulse to travel along its way. Feeling emotions, feeling embraceful, feeling aggression, those are all points of awareness we have to go through throughout the day. Give yourself a moment to acknowledge these feelings and how you bestow the control of them or allow them to take control of you. The expression of anger is not a negative thing, but only a release. The expression of aggression is not a negative thing, but only a release. The way in which you apply this to a being or to the nature around you then dictates it being negative or positive. Allow yourself time to acknowledge any blockages that you feel along the seven chakras from the root to the sacral, to the ego, to the heart, to the throat, to the third eye, to the crown. Bring yourself to that awareness and allow your intuition, your third eye, to teach you, to guide you on the way to releasing this block. That was my alarm. Right there is going off to let us know we've hit the 25 minute mark. So we're going to end today again with the breath work. Checking into your breath, checking into yourself. I know it's a little bit later in the afternoon. Actually, one of the best times to do so, you finished everything for your day. So check into yourself. Allow yourself a moment to feel and acknowledge what you allowed yourself to do throughout the day. Taking a deep breath in. Bring your awareness from the base of the spine all the way to the top of the crown, top of the head. Then that awareness, check into yourself. Let's share palms together at heart center. Allow the energy to radiate from the heart into the palms through the body. 
The hands and the feet are two conduits that connect us to this physical world, allow us to manipulate as well as take assessment to the tangibility of it. I'm placing my hands into my lap as I take six breaths in at my pace. Whenever you're ready, check it to yourself. As I spoke of earlier, just make the acknowledgement to those things that are around you that you necessarily just can't control, but it doesn't create a hindrance. Check it into the self. Check into your state of awareness, your state of knowledge. Take a deep breath in. Hands make heart center and namaste. Re-entering the world around you. Re-entering the tangible world that you are embracing me through your physical body. Now, if anyone has any questions about um, the classes I teach, normally I do do a meditation and a physical practice class. I did focus these two classes this week on meditation for the idea that's what HCC did ask me. So forth, I followed them within that. Um, if anyone was in here viewing, thank you very much for viewing and joining into the stream, joining into the Zoom. Um, I appreciate you, HCC, for allowing me to host the class and everything. Again, my name is Tremon Butler. I myself am also a student of HCC, but I'm also the recreational yoga instructor. Um, primarily found on the central campus whenever classes are hosted in person. So if y'all have any questions, you can contact either Lewis Earl or Shanice Ware, and they can lead you back to me. And again, thank you very much for attending the class, those who did. Thank you very much for viewing the class, those who did. And then that, we're done for today. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great afternoon. Take a deep breath in. Bring yourself to the awareness. Remember, you are in control of every aesthetic of your reality. Again, thank y'all for those who sat in the stream. Um, this is kind of what I do on a regular basis. I'll be doing this again over this weekend. Um, I'll be at Anime Dallas over in Dallas, Texas. Currently, I'm in Houston, Texas. I'm an Houstonian myself. So I'll be going out there to go and teach a few classes, um, anime DJs, yoga, and anime rap battles. Uh, anime DJs and anime rap battles are both going to be on uh, Saturday. I believe anime rap battles first and anime DJs. And then Sunday morning is the yoga class. So, for those who tuned in the stream, thank you very much. Hope you have a blessed day. Hope y'all be good. Hope everything is, like, prosperous for you. Remember, you are in control of your reality. So, keep that in mind and apply it every day. Knowledge itself supplies your wealth.